we have lots of fish here on the embankment. They just like monsters, big, huge fish. They're probably very upset that restaurants are closed and they can't eat. So everybody just like trying to feed them here on the embankment in the marina. Hi everyone, Laguna Chela, I'm Jan and we are in sunny Gibraltar. Really lovely, nice weather today. So uh, I decided to get out and have a little bit of walk on our promenade in Marina Bay. And uh, well, we have still news. To be honest, guys, I have a little bit of uh, confusion in the news what they're saying about uh, how many cases we have. So um, I'm going to tell you, it's a bit um, bright, so I'm going to go in the shade. So you can see the embankment behind me, it's all quiet and we still have uh, quarantine for now. But I think they promise that maybe the restaurants will open next week, I'm not sure, 100%. But look, so we have, look, that's what uh, up to today, uh, we have um, 205 painting results. We have confirmed cases 149, recovered 145, active cases 4 and number in self-isolation 45. So that was a bit confusion for me because this has only started to be this week. Uh, number in self-isolation was 40 previously and before they never even sent this number uh, how many people in self-isolation and that's why I don't understand what means active cases and what means um, number in self-isolation because if there, there are 200 people waiting they all should be in self-isolation I presume so I'm not sure what exactly these numbers mean, to be honest, guys. I mean, we're also in self-isolation. And uh, uh, I was arguing with my husband. He was saying, okay, if it's 40-something in self-isolation, that means they have COVID-19 or waiting for the results. And four, we had two, four people. So it's increased a little bit at the end of the week. Uh, should be active cases. So he believes these are people who are in hospital. But then I was reading on the internet on um, the news site where it was saying that there are no people in hospital with COVID-19 so I don't know guys but this is the statistics they're sending us that's why I'm a little bit confused if we have four or we should have 45 or why is it 205 painting but not in isolation because I presume it's supposed to be in self-isolation number altogether 200 something people so I don't know but that's the statistics I wanted to share with you, as you know. So you can see, guys, once again, I want to show you a little bit of the our promenade. You see, it's pretty quiet. Restaurants are preparing uh, slowly. They started to clean the place and do some painting. So I don't know, maybe next week they will open them. I had my friend send some information with the stages. And I think the full lockdown, they're still expecting some time only uh, 1st of August or something, or end of August, well anyway, at that time. So, but this moment we still have very quiet, not many people around. So just showing you, if uh, there will be changes, I will try to show you, of course, guys, to just keep you updated with the news, what we have. So, and uh, that's the other side of our <laughs> embankment, there is my parents there with me, so yeah, we decided to go outside today to have a little bit of walking while we don't have uh, too many people. We have more people obviously walking on the promenade these days, uh, but uh, we are right in the uh, morning, well not very early, but about 12ish, I think something, and you see it's pretty quiet except the birds, they're like fighting with each other or something, yeah. So beautiful area here, we absolutely love this part of uh, our promenade. And uh, it's a shady, you see in the morning still, and at that time it's a little bit shady. Well guys, so uh, that's all the news. And uh, the other news, I did make any big, many videos once again guys, you know. I actually has ended up in hospital last week and uh, didn't tell you about it <laughs> on Sunday. Uh, I posted the video with the haircut I did for mom. But yeah, last week I ended up in hospital because I got uh, uh, problems with my stomach. So, uh, you know, I don't have a very strong stomach and uh, I had too much pain, so I had to go and ask what was wrong with me. And uh, I, uh, I mean, I didn't spend time in hospital, like I didn't stay there for long, just like a few hours. And uh, was, uh, they were doing some systems and 
uh, injecting me <laughs> and look at this uh, just want to show you that's the result a bit you see the bruise I mean it's a little bit yellowish now so it's get better but uh, yeah that's uh, didn't go well the first I'm only trying to find my vein to put the system in and this ended up with the huge bruise. I, I, it was so much pain. I was just like thinking, no, I don't have pain in the stomach anymore. Can I go home? <laughs> but then afterwards it was all right. So I think I like arrived. My husband took me around seven-ish and uh, I left hospital around midnight. So uh, after all the systems I felt better, but still my stomach whole week was not very happy, like very lots of pains. So I'm like a bit scared now this week. Uh, I still had some pains, it's getting better, but uh, I'm worried, like you see, it's kind of end up uh, one week, okay, one week, uh, not okay, <laughs> so I uh, worry what's going to be next week, so uh, yeah, and I had very low blood pressure, remember when the other week I passed out, that's why I decided to go to hospital and I had a lot of pain in my stomach because it felt like I was going to pass out again, that's why I said to uh, my husband, okay, I don't know why I have so much pain and feeling like I'm going to pass out again, so it's end up my stomach, so I think last time it was also uh, my stomach, so <laughs> we just came right to the end of the uh, promenade, you see guys, that's the view, you understand uh, the Spain, we can see the Spain, you see how close it is, and the runway, no airplanes at this moment, we have actually, we had some more airplanes, and uh, uh, just a little bit more from here, it's a beautiful view, I really like to, you know, walk in this, part and enjoy this nice views and here is very quiet on this in this part of the promenade compared to the other part I don't know yeah so I hope they're going to keep it like you know with the, all the changes now um, I hope maybe they're going to keep it after like 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock that's it no more parties <laughs> and should go home close all the restaurants cafes and uh, like that's how keep like uh, you know distances and uh, less um, uh, possibilities of, of getting the virus right uh, so that's uh, that's pretty much it so this last uh, this week like I said mostly I was at home because I didn't feel well from the last week and um, uh, we went to the shop and it was really hard for me to actually walk to we went to Morrison and I was uh, kind of like a little bit oh I feel sick and uh, yeah but now it's a bit better so uh, we've seen some cruise ships and I think uh, I was reading something on the internet what the ships were doing here. I think they will rescue and steal the uh, crew members of the ship. I uh, wasn't sure 100%, but I think they were like trying to get the people out of the ship. Yeah. So, but uh, that's what was else. Oh yeah, and um, except me, <laughs> we had also some our um, people in our um, here community. I think somebody from this. Uh, boats, you know, there are owners, the people living on the boats, and I think um, somebody was. We had an ambulance the other day on this embankment, and um, somebody was taken to hospital. And we actually had also uh, one of our neighbors uh, taken to the hospital too on the ambulance. Uh, no, not COVID 19, nothing to do with that, but just not feeling well, also. Like I'm saying, guys, that's what I'm saying is isolation helps us to fight COVID 19, but uh, the other things also, you know, usually at home it's not very good to be at home for so long, so many weeks. So that's why we decided to go out a little bit more while there are not that many people. So right now, because after afternoon, closer to the evening, there will be much more, very many people will be just walking around. But I mean, everybody's trying to keep the distance, which is okay, good. So, but I think we really need to go out a bit more and like, get some more fresh air. Because I don't know, if when you sit at home, like you see guys, I. I, uh, I never had so many problems before, but I mean, I know the walking, how I walk, I do spend a lot of time with my computer, remember I told you, obviously, and that's why uh, I always trying to get myself something into to get me out of the house, because like sitting at home and like walking for a week or two, I would always feel not very good, that's why I'm trying to get out, and now I've been sitting, you know, we self-isolate ourselves even before it started to be uh, uh, like a must, and uh, that's kind of not very good for me <laughs> no, i understand definitely not good so uh, yeah well that's is it guys that's all the news for this week i hope you liked the video a little bit updates and uh, things what's happening here in gibraltar and also what's happening with me <laughs> and i wish you all guys be uh, to stay safe still and uh, um, 
Well, have a nice weekend. Steal the, uh, the rest of it what you have. And um, I see you next time. Bye, everyone. Oh. <laughs> А что ты не идешь домой? <смех> Пошел. Да? Темно, конечно, не знаю, Нет, что тут.